Hello friends, welcome to our channel Stocks Factor. Hope you are doing well. Friends, in this video, we are going to discuss the topic Max Pain Theory. You must have encountered this term when you would have been learning about the option or option analysis and most frequently this term is used but very few know that what is the concept behind the Max Pain Theory and how it is calculated though we have already shown in this indicator in our dashboard and we have already discussed in the previous videos how to see that but in this video specifically we will discuss about the concept, the detail the little bit of theory and then we'll understand how to look at it in order to make effective trading decisions. Before we start with the topic, friends, if you have not subscribed to our channel, I request you to please subscribe to our channel so that you can get the notifications of weekly market analysis videos and the derivative analysis series videos in specific, which we have already posted. We have posted many videos in this topic in which we have discussed each and every derivative indicator in detail about the theory and how to apply them in real world. We have discussed all the use cases also in these videos and how to see those indicators in our dashboard in order to make effective trading decisions. So you can go through all these videos. We have discussed all the topics in detail, whether it is open interest, futures, rollover data, futures data, option OI analysis. We have done in two parts and the PCR. So we have covered each and every topic. And friends, if you want to get the access of the dashboard, you can always drop us an email. The email ID is mentioned in the about section and we will mail you the link of the dashboard. The free trial version of the dashboard is already open until 31st of March 2021. So friends, let's get started. So friends, before discussing the max pain theory, let us quickly look at what are option contracts. Though we have already discussed about the option contracts in the videos where we have discussed about the OI analysis in our previous two videos. But just the, in this slide, we'll quickly recap that. You already know that the option, it gives the buyer the right, but not the obligation to buy or sell the underlying security, right? So basically when you buy an option, you only have to pay the premium and you always have a choice to exercise if your option is in the money, right? Otherwise you don't have a choice, but you don't have an obligation, right? So the obligation is for the seller that if you want to exercise, the seller would have to, uh, you know, oblige to that particular exercise at the time of expiry, right? So option seller's profit, what is the option seller's profit? It is the premium which ha he has got from the option buyer, right? So as a buyer, you have given premium to the option seller and option seller has taken the premium from you in order to give you the uh, right to exercise that option. Now seller is expected to ensure that the buyer is unable to exercise the option, right? This is what is going on in the market. Sellers are generally the smart people. You already know that they are the people with good money, uh, with large amount of money and they are very resourceful. They have very much information which the retail people don't have. So that's why they are carrying the unlimited risk and they are writing the options and they are ensuring that the buyer is unable to exercise the option, right? So the maximum options should expire out of the money. So that's why writer intend to suck, uh, you can say maximum premium from buyers. So at the time when the expiry starts, the premium is maximum for the options. So basically they are trying to write the options at the strike prices where they know that uh, the market is unlikely to go and that's why they are taking the maximum premium until the end of the expiry the option contracts become obsolete because it is out of the money and the premium is almost zero. So this is the basic theory. Now let us discuss about what is max pain. So friends max pain as you already know it is actually a derivative of option chain only right. So you know that every strike price uh, there is a put writing or call writing going on right. So we have to think from writer's perspective here. We, we don't have to think about uh, the option chain from the buyer's perspective because buyers are generally retail people and they have less amount of money. So we have to think from the seller's perspective that what they are trying to do at every strike price. So you know that the sweet spot where majority of put or call writers will be profitable. So that is called sweet spot, right? So where maximum put writing or call writing is going on. So there could be a tendency for the stock to move closer to max pain but the effects may not be meaningful until expiration approaches. So basically what is the meaning of this? So uh, if you if you are daily following the max pain area uh, in the chart, there are very highly likely chances that the stock will expire in that range, right? Because there will be minimum loss to the option sellers in that range and maximum loss to the option buyers. So this is the whole theory. If you if you just uh, understand it in a one line, so max pain theory is to understand the area where the option sellers will have the minimum loss uh, when the expiry takes place and the option buyers will carry the maximum loss. So it is defined to minimize the losses for the uh, option sellers. Plus this line is also saying that that during the time of expiry as in the second line you can see that the where the majority of, of put or call writing is going on. So there is a tendency for stock to go till that strike price where the maximum call writing or put writing is going on. It will touch that strike price and it will again 
you, you will see strong resistance or support that area and there are chances that it will bounce back or it will reverse from there. Basically the option writers are not allowing the price to go higher because then they will suffer the losses, right? They are big players and the stock price will reverse from the strike price unless you see that some other big player has come or there is specific news which has come and and then the players who have sold the positions or who have written the positions at that strike price they will start unwinding their positions so unless you see the unwinding of the positions there are chances that the stock price will reverse from that particular strike price so let us try to understand how it is calculated though we have already calculated this for you in the dashboard and we'll discuss also how to see that number we have already placed very simplified form of the max pain chart but still we want to make you understand the theory behind it and the calculation behind it, how it is done in high level, right? So uh, max pain calculation. So try to understand that at every strike price, as we discussed that call writing and put writing is going on, right? Now what will happen is you have to uh, assume that suppose the expiry happens at that strike price, right? Suppose uh, we take the example of SBI and at 300 maximum, uh, suppose call writing or put writing is going on. So whatever, right? Now we have to think, suppose the expiry takes place at uh, 300 uh, strike price. So what will be the loss to the option sellers, right? So we have to sum up the number of positions that is the call option positions and the put option positions. We have to add the total positions and we have to calculate the price, uh, the amount, the actual money uh, by multiplying it with the lot size that what money is being uh, involved at that particular strike price. So once we have calculated that, we will plot that in the graph. And then similarly for every strike price, we have to repeat that. And then we'll come to know that what is the loss of option sellers at that strike price, right? So then wherever the range will fall, where the minimum loss will be there for the option sellers, that will be the range where there are highly likely chances that the expiry is going to take place. But one point you have to remember that you have to watch that graph or the chart every day because you know that every day the option data changes. So according to that, max pain area also changes slightly. And if there is significant change in option OI at particular strike price, then the max pain area will also start shifting as per the option chain data. If the major support or major resistance levels also start shifting, we'll see that. So max pain area will slightly also change according to that. So friends, this is the theory of max pain. And now let's jump to the dashboard where we'll see the chart in actual and how to analyze. We have already calculated for you in the dashboard. Now let's analyze that. So friends, we are into the stocks factor dashboard now. And let's take two examples. We'll see the max pain for the index also and stocks also. So let's first quickly go to the index analysis page. Okay, so friends, we are already into the index analysis page and I have selected the nifty and by default the time range is three months. Now let us show where the max pain chart is shown in the dashboard. So you can see here along with the PCR and the maximum put call and open interest band. So in this graph, as you already know that we are showing the major support and resistance level based on the strike prices where the maximum put writing and call writing is going on. Now this is the max pain graph and you can see we have calculated the uh, amount for every strike price, right? And like this, the graph is plotted. So if we expand this graph, so as I was mentioning, so so now just to mention this graph is based on the as you already know that in the nifty there are weekly expiries. So this graph is based on the weekly data. I mean the current week uh, where the expiry is continuing. So for the current expiry, so which expires every Thursday. So this is based on that, that so you can analyze that where are the likely chances where expiry can happen, right? So the max pain area is as I mentioned where there should be minimum loss to the sellers. So friends, as you already know, the bars are minimum at this level. So this range, uh, you have to identify a range where there could possibly be minimum loss to the seller. So you possibly, this is the area. So if we see that around, uh, if we just hover on this, so 14,650 to somewhere 15,100 uh, or uh, 200. So there is always a range, whether it is 200 point range or, or, or 300 point range, there cannot be an exact point. So you have to identify the range and then you can decide where you want to uh, write your if you're if you're an option writer then uh, beyond this range you can start writing so uh, but you always have to follow this chart on a daily basis basically this graph is relevant for the expiry so if you are thinking of uh, holding a position till expiry so uh, you have to uh, analyze this graph on a daily basis right now let's take an example of a stock also so you know that in the nifty or the index like uh, there are weekly expiries but in stocks there are monthly expiries 
So let's also analyze the stock. So we'll go to stocks analysis page. So friends, now we are into the stocks analysis page and I've selected the stocks Bank of Baroda and the time frame is again the default three months. So now let's see where the max pain chart is shown. So you can see here the max pain area is plot again with the PCR and maximum put on uh, call open interest band. Basically why we are showing all the options data together. Basically as I mentioned uh, or I always mentioned in my previous videos that you have to not look any chart in isolation. You have to make a holistic picture by looking and you know correlating each and every graph. If all the data is in harmony or in sync then your trades will be high probability trades. Now let's look at the max pain uh, area graph. So if we just expand this you can expand all the graphs by clicking at that icon and it will be expanded for you in full screen. So you can see that the now range which is becoming is around uh, you know 83 to uh, 88 or 90. So you can see you can define a range. So this is uh, right now the max pain area for the current expiry. But as I mentioned that you have to follow it on daily basis and this can always change right. So this can slightly shift based on if there is a major shifting in, in call and winding and uh, put writing right. So in this way you have to analyze that. So but uh, there are likely chances that the expiry is going to take place in this range. So based on this you can adjust your positions if you are having any existing positions or if you are trying to make any new positions as a writer you can write beyond this range. So friends in this way you have to analyze the data but as I mentioned I am repeating again you not have to analyze any single indicator or graph in isolation you have to make a complete picture by looking at every data futures data options data PCR data and the max pain data you have to analyze the option chain too and the what is going on in the cash market in case of stocks. So once you look all this data together and make a picture so then whatever trades you take you will be confident about those trades you will take less trades but those trades will be high probability trades. So friends with this we come to the end of this video. If you have any questions regarding the video or this topic please post your questions on the comment section and we will definitely answer your questions. And friends if you are not subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel to get the notification of derivative analysis series videos and weekly market analysis videos which you have started posting. And if you want to get the access of the dashboard you can drop us an email and we'll mail you the link of the free trial version of our dashboard. See you in another video. Take care and goodbye.